Now, as a final thing we're going to do with looking at uh, using integration by substitution with trig functions is we're going to tackle the last two of the basic trig functions, integral of secant, and then afterwards we're going to try integral of cosecant. Now, this one, you might try various tricks and change things around. You might change this to integral of 1 over cosine, and then you might try and do it like we did for tangent, except that if you made this into your u, you don't have anything for du. Now, I'm not quite sure who thought of this, but somewhere somebody along the way thought of this trick, that this is going to work if you multiply it by secant x plus tan x over secant x plus tan x. Now, no one would be expecting you to come up with that on your own, but I want you to appreciate why this works. If you multiply this by secant x, let's just use a bracket, secant x plus tan x over secant x plus tan x. You will see why this will work. It's kind of neat how it works. On the top, we multiply that out. We're going to have secant squared x plus secant x tangent x. And the bottom, we're still going to have just secant x plus Oops, plus tan x. Now, hopefully you realize that multiplying it by that doesn't change anything, right? Multiplying it by that over itself just keeps it at what it was before, secant x. The reason this is going to work here is now the substitution that I'm going to use is this thing on the bottom, secant x plus tan x, secant x plus tan x, because then du is going to be, well, derivative of secant is secant tangent, right? secant x tan x, and the derivative of this part is secant squared x. Well, if you look at that, that's what we have on top here, right? We've got secant squared x plus secant tangent x, that whole thing, plus secant tangent x dx. Now, I forgot to write the dx over here, uh, but over there, let's move it over a bit. Um, dx there, right? So that whole thing is what we're going to make the replacement with here. And then our original thing, that can be our u, right? So then that's going to that's gonna work nicely for us here. We are going to have integral of, integral of, well, this thing on the bottom, this is going to be our u, right? So we got u, and then the other stuff is just du. I'm going to put it beside. All right, so if we color code this to see where we're coming from here, there's that, right? So from there, then you can just proceed in a fairly straightforward manner, as long as you remember that the integral of 1 over something is ln of absolute value of that something, plus a constant here. So then I'm going to have to put it over here. What I've got is ln absolute value of what I had up here, secant x plus tan x plus a constant. Like it or not, that's what the integral of secant x is. I know it looks something like you wouldn't expect, ln of absolute value of something, but that's what it is, all right? Now, I think you should tackle this yourself, okay, doing the integral of cosecant x. It can be a similar method, right? Uh, you just have to think about what it is you're going to do to change it before you actually work out the integral. So pause the video right now, try this, and then check your solution in a minute or two. So let's work with this. What we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to change this into integral of we gotta we gotta do that little trick, but we gotta think about what we're gonna do here. We need to make this cosecant x plus cotangent x over cosecant x plus cotangent x. All right, so we're gonna have our cosecant x, but we need to multiply it by what we just said there. Now, why don't I just do this actually? Let's uh, let's just move this right up there. And we'll put some brackets there and this, put my dx, and I'll be good. I need to make u into 
cosecant x plus cotangent x. My thing on the bottom, because then du is going to be, we'll see why it works here. Let me just multiply this out on top. we got cosecant squared x plus cosecant cotangent x. On the bottom, we still just have cosecant x plus cotangent x dx. So our du over here is going to be derivative of each of those things. This is going to be, let me make sure I put my minuses in here, minus cosecant x cotangent x minus cosecant squared x. Or in other words, I can, I can factor out that negative or I can uh, deal with a negative over here. What I'm going to do is make this minus du equals positive all those things. All right, so then if we make all our changes and replacements here, that is going to become this. So all of this stuff on top here is going to become du, du. And our other part here we have is u is going to be that. So there we go with that. So we have integral of 1 over u. But we need our negative in here because that was part of our du, right? Negative du. And then this was our u, all right? So if we keep going with this now, uh, what we have is negative ln absolute value of u plus a constant because that's the integral of that uh, 1 over something. And to finish it off here, minus ln absolute value of, just replace that back here, cosecant x plus cotangent x plus a constant. And that's it. All right? So you got the integrals of those six basic trig functions now. All right? As crazy as they are.